Now let's have another, uh, the first problem of this session is ipaglaban mo. You are at the wheel of a 1,200 kilogram car traveling east through an intersection when a 3,000 kilogram car traveling north through the intersection crashes into your car as shown in the right. So meron kang dalawang cars dito and you are part of the, you are driving the, the, the car and someone drives the truck and then they, um, there's a collision happening. Buti na lang, di ka, huwag naman sanang mamatay, no? di naman siguro. Um, the car and the truck remain stuck together. So medyo malakas yung impact to the point na nag-stick yung dalawang car. It, so meron kang wreckage dito. Let's say meron kang wreckage dyan. Medyo ginayin ko na lang para, ano, para sabihing wreckage talaga. And it moves with some final, common final velocity. Let's say we have, have some VF here. It moves with some final velocity VF. Okay. Um, ngayon, Sinasabi nito, eh di syempre baka kinasuhan ka nitong tra truck driver. No? Kasi sabi na truck driver, eh baka kasi ano, baka kasi overspeeding ka po yan. Overspeeding ka. Ngayon, ito yung mga facts na nasa field when, in when it's investigated. Uh, the first, the speed limit of a car is 80 kph. Therefore, your speed should be less than 80 kph para masabi mo na hindi ka overspeeding. Otherwise, overspeeding ka, di ba? Now, the speedometer of the truck was smashed, leaving the needle stuck at 50 kph. Okay, so 50 kph yung magiging um, yung velocity ng truck when it um when it collides with the car. Now, hindi natin alam kung ano ka, ano kabilis yung wreckage. We don't know that. Okay? And the rock initially skidded from um the impact at an angle 59 degrees north of east. Uh, again, um, um, the wreck initially skidded from the impact at an angle 59 degrees north of east. So, meron kang 59 degrees. Ay, oops, tupag muna. Meron kang 59 degrees dito. Okay, north of east. Now, the question is, do these pieces of evidence support or undermine that you were overspeeding? So, the question now is, overspeeding ka nga ba o hindi? Okay? I'll explain to you the problem. Maybe I'll be giving you a minute to, to, to think of the solution to this problem. This is basically a collision in 2D problem. And uh, I'll, I'll show you the solution after. Okay? Okay. Okay, maybe a minute has elapsed. So let's solve this problem. So again, and explain ko na ng konte yung nangyari dun sa situation. You just don't need to, we did not read this long um, passage again. Ang gusto ko lang sabihin dito is, let's first draw the, the system, the, the problem. So again, ang nangyari, um, so meron kang before, or let's say this is state one, and this is state two. State one is basically this. So you have, let's say you have a coordinate system um, that's defined by some X and Y coordinates. So this is some x and y. And um, let's assume that you are driving eastward. You are driving eastward. Dito pala. Based on nakikita nyo. So you are driving eastward with some velocity. Um, let us say vc. So that vc is, so far, so far dahil hindi ka tumitingin sa yung speedometer bago mangyari yung aksidente, hindi mo alam kung ano yung velocity mo. Okay? And then the truck is moving with some vt. Let us say um, t is the index for the truck. Let's say, let's say it's VT, and it's moving with some velocity. Now, sabi sa problem, yung speedometer daw, nag-stop sa 50 kph. Therefore, it is, that 50 kph is not the velocity of the wreckage, but rather it is the velocity of the truck initially. So this is 50 kph. Let's say this is J hat. Basically, ganun yung magiging um, um, direction ng, um, <laughs> ng truck. So after that, and di syempre, di nagpanggaan nga, di ba? So after the collision, after the collision, the wreckage, which is now both the, the truck and the car, will moves in now in this direction where theta here is 15 um, is 59 degrees north of east. Again, for 50 for north of east, you started with east, turn 59 degrees towards north. Kaya ganyan yung direction niya. And now this is same some, let's say some final velocity VF. Or para consistent sa notation natin, V prime na lang yan. V prime. Now these are all vectors, remember? Vectors lahat yan. Now, the question now is, what is VC? Ito yung kailangan natin. What is the velocity? What is your speed um, before the collision? Kasi ang pinaklaim nga ni, driver, ni, truck, ni truck driver is overspeeding ka, kaya ikaw dapat may kasalanan sa banggaan ito. Okay? Now, so we know that this is a collision problem. And what type of collision is this? What type of collision is this? Ano yan, ha? Anong type ng collision to? Sir, inelastic. Inelastic siya, pero um, this is now, is it partially inelastic or perfectly inelastic? Sir, perfectly. Yes, perfectly inelastic because the two cars stick together. 
Then, so, um, this, since this is a perfectly inelastic collision, what happens is we can use this equation. Remember, the equation that we use for perfectly inelastic collision is extendable to 2. Because, again, momentum is So you have M, MC, VT vector, plus MT, VT vector equals the sum MC plus MT quantity V vector five, V vector prime. Now, this V vector prime can be decomposed into its X and Y components, uh, okay? So what we can do is to consider the, consider the X and Y components. So, okay, now in the X component, so ano mangyayari? Sa X component, ano mangyayari? Remember, what happens? Remember your VC here. Ano lang yung direction ng VC? Again, the car, your car is moving towards um to um towards east. Therefore, this should be using our coordinate system that this is positive x. Uh, yun na lang gamitin natin convention positive x positive y to. Ano yung mga yaring VC na? It's only the, in the x direction. Therefore, wala ka dapat in expect na component ng car sa y direction. And hence, this is simply MCVC equals what? Now, what about the component of the velocity of the truck in the x direction? What can we say about it? Zero. Zero lang yan, di ba? Kasi nga, it's moving towards north. Therefore, this should be equal to zero, which is then equal to mc plus mt multiplied by, let's say, v prime is the magnitude of the final velocity of the wreckage times what? The times, remember, there's an angle here. Circle sign 59. Yeah, cosine 59 degrees. Or for the meantime, I'll just like this cosine theta. Or theta is equal to 59 degrees. So, okay. On the other hand, for the y component, ano mangyari? Ano mangyari sa y component? So, so car naman yung zero. Yes, car naman yung zero because this is just, again, in the x component. Therefore, wala siya dapat y component. Plus mt, vt is just equal to mc plus mt quantity v prime sine theta. Tama? So let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Okay? Ngayon, pansinin niyo yung V prime, yung V prime hindi natin alam. Yung VC, hindi rin natin alam. Pero yung um, VT alam natin. Yung mga masas alam natin. Therefore, the only ones that we are not um, sure of this is V prime. We do not know V prime and VC. And therefore, um, you have two unknowns, but you have two equations. And therefore, you can solve this uniquely. Pwede mong isolve yan. Okay? Now, Ang pinakamadaling gawin dito, again, we don't need V-prime. Hindi naman natin kailangan yung speed ng wreckage. Ang kailangan lang natin yung speed ng car mo para mapatunayan whether or not you're speeding or whether you're speeding or not, di ba? So, um, what we just do is divide equation 2 by equation 1. We have what? If I divide equation 2 by equation 1, um, sorry, equation 1 over equation 2 na lang. Sorry. It should be equation 1 divided by equation 2. Actually, para saan mo mangyari? Para mangyari, so you have MC, VC over MT, VT is simply MC plus MT, V prime cosine theta, all over MC plus MT quantity, MT dot, quantity V prime sine theta, and hence these two will cancel, the V prime will cancel, so wala na yung V prime sa, uh, sa uh, equation natin, and we have just cotangent theta here. Again, theta is given. And hence, solving for VC, We have that VC equals MT, VT over MC multiplied by cotangent theta. So we'll just plug in the necessary numbers here. The mass of the truck is 3,000 kilograms, if I remember correctly. This is 3,000 kilograms um, divided by the mass of the car is about 1,200 kilograms. Um, the velocity of the truck initially is 50 kph. So hindi nyo kailangan convert dito kasi walang ibang velocity na my units, and then cotangent of 59 degrees. So by substituting these variables, therefore, VC is about 75 kph. Pero ano yung, ano yung based on problem, ano yung uh, tawag ito, yung speed limit? 80. 80, 80 kph ang speed limit. This is still less than the speed limit. Let's say VZIM, which is um, 60, I, sorry, 80 kph. Buti hindi siya sa common tumaan. Hence, the 
evidence, the pieces of evidence that were presented under me, therefore it doesn't support, hence the pieces of evidence under me, under me, that you are overseeing. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? Nakuha kung paano ginagawa. Minsan, may mga technique sa ganito na dinidivide lang dalawang equations. And pansin niyo, wala kang ginamit na ibang equation, conservation of momentum lang. Okay? Questions? May tanong? May uh, tanong? None. Okay. I hope you understand this problem. This is one problem na lumalabas sa um, FQ or exam. Read the best. Okay? Okay. Yeah.